Welcome to iLectron Line. Now let's see if we can figure out if this power series converges. So the general form is from n equals 0 to infinity, the infinite sum of c sub n times x to the n. And in this case, it is equal to the infinite sum from n equals 0 to infinity of n factorial times x to the n. Now n factorial are going to be constants. So they become then the coefficients of the infinite series or of the power series in this case. So we can say that c sub n is equal to n factorial, which means that c sub 0 is 1, c sub 1 is 1, c sub 2 is 2 factorial, c sub 3 is 3 factorial, and so forth. Remember that 0 factorial and 1 factorial are defined as 1. Now we can then write the infinite series, in this case the power series from n equals 0 to infinity of n factorial times n x to the n, is equal to 1 for the first term because x to the 0 is 1 and 0 factorial is 1 as well. Then the next term, 1 factorial is 1 and x to the n power is x. And then we can see that the next term will be 2 because that's 2 factorial times x squared, 3 factorial times x cubed, 4 factorial times x to the fourth, and so forth. The question is, does that converge or diverge? To determine if the function or the infinite series or the power series converges, we're going to use the ratio test, which means we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the ratio of the next term divided by the previous term. In other words, we're going to take n plus 1 factorial times x to the n plus 1 divided by n factorial divided by times x to the n power. So this will be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of, well, n factorial divided by n is simply n, and x to the n plus 1 divided by x to the n is simply x. So, of course, you can see that as we take the limit as n goes to infinity, this will indeed become infinity. So this is equal to infinity, unless there's only one exception. If x is equal to 0, 0 times n as n becomes larger and larger and larger will always be 0. Every term that we add will be 0. So we know that it will converge if x equals 0, but for all other values, diverges for all other values of x. So you can see, even with power series, we sometimes have to come up with some clever techniques to figure out if the power series converges or not. In this case, all but one value for x, the power series will diverge, but when x equals 0, it will indeed converge. And that's how it's done.